Hey guys, my name is Jimbo Wood. I'm one of the therapists here at Horizon Physical Therapy. Uh, I'm going to be talking you through how to do a self-mobilization for a cuboid dysfunction at home. So I think it's important that we begin by talking about the anatomy of the cuboid and specifically where it is in the foot. That's one of the things that patients commonly uh, get confused on when they go to mobilize at home. So if I take my patient's foot here, this is the fifth metatarsal here. This is this long bone that leads all the way out to the toe. And on every patient, there's gonna be a, a pretty sharp edge on the back edge of that fifth metatarsal. And so if I follow that fifth metatarsal all the way to the end, this is the back edge of the fifth metatarsal. Well, the cuboid is, a, is an ice cube shaped bone that sits right behind that fifth metatarsal there. And that's the area that we wanna mobilize. So when the cuboid dislocates, it commonly dislocates inferiorly or towards the sole of the foot or towards the ground if you were in standing. And so when we relocate or when we mobilize the cuboid at home, we wanna mobilize it in an upward direction. So the first thing that I'm gonna have my patient do is I'm gonna have my patient kind of form this hook grip with her first two fingers. She's gonna find the end of that fifth metatarsal and she's gonna hook her fingers up underneath that cuboid there. So again, finding the edge of the, uh, the fifth metatarsal, directly behind that, she's gonna go up underneath and behind that fifth metatarsal. She's hooking her fingers directly up underneath that cuboid. She's got her elbow completely extended, and then she's gonna push down as if she's pushing on a gas pedal. So she's pushing her foot away, and as she's pushing her foot away, she's holding upward pressure on that cuboid that direction. So she wants to do that about uh, 30 uh, repetitions nice and slow. For some patients who have either hip issues or shoulder issues or knee issues and they can't get in this position here, another option is to take a golf ball. A golf ball on a softer surface like a carpeted floor, we're using AstroTurf here. Again, we're gonna find that fifth metatarsal, we're gonna find the back edge of that fifth metatarsal and the cuboid will be directly behind that fifth metatarsal towards the heel. And she's just gonna place firm pressure down through her foot on that golf ball there. And that golf ball is providing an upward mobilization on that cuboid. Again, kind of putting pressure down there about 30 repetitions. And this is okay to do twice a day, seven days a week uh, throughout your term of care with us. Thank you.